happy is the mother who bore you and nursed you. <laughs> Rather, how happy are those who hear the word of God and obey it. Teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. When you pray, say, Our Father in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the Holy Scriptures, God declared the Messiah would come to be the Savior of the world. The life of Jesus gives evidence that he is indeed the one the prophets spoke about. Isaiah prophesied that the virgin will conceive a child and will give birth to a son. Centuries later, the birth of Jesus was the fulfillment of that prophecy. The Holy Scriptures declared that the Holy One to be born would be called the Son of God. This means that Jesus was to be called the Son of God in a spiritual sense. We see this in how he lived his life. He healed people from disease, forgave their sins, turned them back to God, and promised them a place in God's eternal kingdom. He offered himself as a sacrifice for sin in their place, and then rose again, conquering death. Jesus said, no one can take my life from me. I lay it down of my own accord. The life of Jesus not only fulfilled the writings of the prophets, but also confirmed the truth of God's holy word. The prophets declared, the word of the Lord is flawless, your word, O Lord, is eternal. Jesus himself said, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Jesus came to give us life in all its fullness. But when man disobeyed God in the Garden of Eden, he chose to go his own way, and his actions separated him from the Creator. The Holy Scriptures declare that all have sinned, and the payment for sin is death. This means a spiritual death, eternal separation from God. But just as God provided a ram to die in place of Abraham's son, so he sent Jesus the Messiah to die in our place. His life, death, and resurrection restored the relationship between God and all those who put their trust in him. Now, those who follow Jesus not only have their sins forgiven, but are saved from God's eternal judgment. They are assured of paradise and will live with him forever. It is this life and freedom from the guilt and power of sin that Jesus offers each person today. This does not mean following a religion, but choosing to have faith in Jesus, who says, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him. This means turning to God and trusting Jesus to come into our lives, to forgive our sins, and to make us what he wants us to be. It is not enough to intellectually agree with his claims, nor to have an emotional experience. We receive him by grace through faith as an act of the will. When people are ready to become followers of Jesus, the Messiah, they may speak to him in a simple prayer. Perhaps you are ready now to open your life to God. If so, you may join in the following prayer to him, silently, in your heart. 
Lord Jesus, I need you. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. I confess and repent of my sins. I open the door of my life and receive you as my Savior and Lord. Thank you for forgiving my sins and giving me eternal life. Make me the kind of person you want me to be. As I become one of your followers. Amen. Jesus said about his followers, My sheep recognize my voice. I know them and they follow me. In order to experience the abundant life which Jesus promised, his followers talk to God each day in prayer and read or listen to his word. They tell others about him and meet regularly with those who love and follow him. Remember his wonderful promise. All power is given to me in heaven and in earth. Lo, I am with you always even to the end of the world. Uhitaji, eh, Bwana. Heri mwanamke aliyekuzaa na kukunyonyesha. Wanaheri wale walisikia neno la Mungu na kulishika. Fundisha kusali kama Yohana alivyowafundisha wanafunzi wake. Msalipo semeni hivi. Baba yetu uliye mbinguni. Jina lako litukuzwe. Ufalme wako uje. Mapenzi yako yatimizwe hapa duniani kama huko mbinguni. Utupe siku kwa siku riziki yetu. Utusamee dhambi zetu kwa kuwa sisi nasi tunawasamea wote wale tukosea. Usutie majaribuni bali utokoe na yule muovu. Zamani manabii waliandika katika maandiko kwamba Mungu angemtuma masihi kuokoa wenye dhambi na kuwapatanisha naye. Maisha ya Yesu yanaonyesha uwazi kwamba hakika huyu ndiye mwokozi ambaye Mungu aliahidi kumtuma ulimwenguni. Nabii Isaya aliandika, "Bikira atachukua mimba na kuzaa mtoto mwanaume." Na hivyo ikatokea. Mungu kwa uweza wake alisababisha Maria angali bado bikira kupata mimba na kuzaa mtoto Yesu. Imeandikwa katika maandiko muujiza wa kuzaliwa kwake ulikuwa ni ishara ya Mungu kwamba mtoto huyu alikuwa ni masihi ambaye Mungu alimuita mwanaye. Watu walipomwona Yesu waliona asili na uweza wa Mungu. Aliponya watu na kuwasamehe dhambi zao na kuwaahidi mahali katika ufalme wake. Yesu alitoa maisha yake na kupata mateso kwa ajili ya watu wote. Kisha alifufuka akionyesha kwamba uwezo wake ni mkubwa kuliko uwezo wa mauti. Yesu Masihi alisema, "Nina uwezo wa kuutoa uhai wangu na uwezo wa kuutoa tena." Maisha ya Yesu yalikuwa kama manabii walivyoandika kwamba Masihi angekuwa. Kweli, Yesu ni neno la Mungu. Katika Yesu Mungu anajionyesha mwenyewe kwa watu wa ulimwengu huu. Yesu Masihi alisema, Mbingu na dunia vitapita lakini maneno yangu hayatapita kamwe. Hapo mwanzo Mungu aliumba mwanaume na mwanamke ili kwamba wangeishi na furaha kwake. Lakini hawakumwamini Mungu na kutii amri zake. Kitendo hiki cha aibu kiliwatengenisha wao na Mungu. 
Katika maandiko yameandikwa wote wamefanya dhambi na mshara wa dhambi ni mauti. Watu waliofanya dhambi hawawezi kuishi katika uhusiano pamoja na Mungu. Kama Mungu alivyomtoa kondoo kufa badala ya mtoto wa Abraham. Hivyo Mungu alimtuma Yesu ili afe badala ya uzao wa Adam. Alifanya hivi ili wale wote ambao wanamwamini na kuweka imani yao katika Bwana Yesu waweze kwenda katika uwepo wake. Petro alisema, Yesu ni yule ambaye manabii walitabiri. Wakisema kwamba Mungu atasamehe dhambi za kila mtu atakayemwamini. Kwa hiyo wale wamfuatao Yesu wataepuka hukumu na wataishi na Mungu milele. Wakati Yesu amefufuka kutoka wafu, alisema kwa wamfuatao, "Watu watatangaza katika jina langu kwa mataifa yote kwamba Mungu anasamehe dhambi kwa wale wanaomgeukia na kutubu." Yesu alisema pia, "Angetuma Roho Mtakatifu kwa wanafunzi wake ili kuwaonyesha kweli na kuwapo uwezo wa kufuata njia ya Mungu." Wakati mwanamke mwenye dhambi alipotubu dhambi zake na kuanza kumfuata, Yesu alisema kwake, "Umesamehewa dhambi zako. Umeokolewa kwa sababu umeniamini." Yesu alisema watu wanapompenda Mungu kweli, ni ushahidi kwamba Mungu amewasamehe dhambi zao. Yesu Masihi aliwaita watu wamfuate. Wakati mhalifu pale msalabani alimwamini Yesu na kuomba kuokolewa, Yesu alisema, Leo hii utakuwa nami peponi. Wale ambao wanaamua kumfuata Yesu wanaweza kuanza uhusiano wao naye kwa kutumia sala kama hii. Mungu Baba, wewe ni mwenye haki. Na kushukuru kwamba unanipenda. Najuta kwamba nimetenda dhambi na kutotie amri zako. Nashukuru kwamba ulimtuma Yesu kufa msalabani kwa niaba yangu na kwamba akafufuka toka kwa wafu. Na kushukuru kwamba aliumia kwa adhabu ya dhambi nilizozifanya. Ninakupokea Yesu kama Bwana na Mwokozi wangu. Na kushukuru kwamba umenisamehe dhambi zangu na umefungua njia kwa ajili yangu kuwa nawe daima. Na kuomba unipe roho mtakatifu wako awe nami na kunionyesha njia yako. Anipe uwezo ili nikupende wewe kwa moyo wangu wote na kuishi maisha na kupendeza na watu waweze kukusifu wewe popote ulimwenguni amen Yesu alisema kuhusu mfuatao Kondoo wangu waisikia sauti yangu nami na wajua nao wanifuata Wamfuatao Yesu kutana pamoja wanazungumza naye kila siku wanajifunza neno lake katika maandiko wanatafuta kufuata mfano wake na wanaambia wengine kuhusu yeye Yesu huwasaidia wao na kuwatia nguvu kupitia uwezo wa roho wa Mungu ambaye anaishi ndani ya mioyo yao wanaweka mioyoni mwao yale Yesu aliyoyesema wakati akipanda juu kwenye kiti chake cha enzi mbinguni Mungu amenipa mamlaka yote mbinguni na duniani kuwa na hakika na hili Nami nipo pamoja nanyi daima hata mwisho wa ulimwengu.